So this is an example of uh, how we're going to put together the niches. Uh, this will also be how you'll handle the uh, cutout area above the fireplace. Here's my piece that I just made with the polished edge. So this piece is going to be installed afterwards. We might niche, we might be notching it out depending on how we decide to install. Uh, but that's going to be the finished edge. So we'll have our nice clean wall, we'll turn the corner, have our nice tight joint, and then inside of the box we're going to have a complete stone surface. What I'll be doing is making these parts from the uh, from the box and uh, what I'll be doing is making some sort of a shelf. You'll probably be doing this final notching here depending on that on that and you'll be making that final trim to line this up with the corner of the wall. You have a lot of different options in terms of where we want to put it. At this point I'm thinking we'll want it to overhang by about three quarters of an inch to an inch. So I'm going to make a certain cut here but you'll be able to change that and adjust it on the job site. The shelf piece is going to go in first. We'll have this wall done here. This will be our final ledge. We'll know where our final area is. We're still going to have a grout joint underneath here. Just a tiny grout joint because we want that to be sealed from water. We'll be adding the shelf in first and we'll be trimming, testing and trimming to get the fit of the back here. The last piece that's going to go in is going to be the back shelf, or the back of the uh, unit. So that'll cover up if we leave any little gaps. I'm going to leave a little edge that's finished out here and I'll ultimately be finishing the edge of this and around the corner here and putting a little roundedness on here like I did with this piece and we'll have a nice finished edge on that. So I'll be making those parts that will fit in there. So first the shelf will go on, then the side piece will go on, and last probably be notching a little bit here to fit around this shelf. So ultimately when we're done we should have a nice clean effect and that'll be the uh, finished detail in there. The last finished detail that I'll review with you is on the tub deck. The tub deck, you're going to be using 24 by 24 inch tiles over the 12 by 24 tiles. So all of the edges where it's exposed to turn corners will be finished and the edges where the tub deck comes in. I don't think we want to overhang the tub deck or if we do, only overhang it a little ways. And that'll give us a nice clean line. And we'll be polishing, as we did with the uh, end, we'll be polishing the leading edge where the tub sits. So we'll use large pieces of tile, the same as the floor, and we'll finish the leading edges where it hangs out over there. We'll be having the exposed edge be into the room.